Bears were scary, especially at night when you have to go to the toilet and it's kind of three in the morning and you haven't got a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. So the two extremes, the city and, of course, nature, do they mm -hmm. come back in your album? Yeah, I mean, it's it's all in there, you know. It's all, it's all there, it's all mixed up together, really. It's just whatever different experiences and information I've, I've gathered in my life and travels, they all kind of do come out at some point or other. Doesn't it make you some sort of an outsider if you don't stay somewhere for a longer period? Because, I mean, you have this overall look, you see different places, you, you don't just stick to the city, you go to nature as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it is... It's quite a strange life to lead. Um, But I mean, it can be enlightening. I mean, you can, if you don't really live somewhere, you can look at uh, the way people behave, what they think is important, and then you go to another city and you see that they, to them, other things are totally important. Yeah. So, I mean, that you know, you you gain enormously in a sense of perspective, um, of getting a better overview from a distance somehow, um, of being the observer you know, in cases like that. I mean, it can be difficult traveling as much as well with, with maintaining friendships. But, you know, I do kind of, I do try and keep that going. Although you know, it's harder when you don't see people for months on end. Do you do more productions now? Yeah, I've started, you know, pr doing production work for other people. Tiffany Anders was one. That was the girl in New York. Um, and it's something that I'm very interested in. And um, on Tiffany's record, I was also playing quite a lot of instruments as well as engineering and mixing so it was quite tough and uh, she had very little money so we had to do it all in about three weeks and in quite a, a bad studio in Brooklyn um, but you know, I'm very interested in doing more of that kind of work and um, you know, I recently was working with Sparkle Horse in the studio and cool. contributing vocals and, and mostly instrumental stuff actually I was uh, uh, you know, playing a lot of piano and a lot of guitar. Um, it's nice to be involved in other people's projects like that, and it's always a lot to be learnt from doing it. Do you uh, would you ever consider to buy your own studio, or do you have a place of your own? I have a small studio of my own. I mean, I have an eight-track digital. I've 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 moved up in the world for years. I only worked on a four-track analog cassette machine. You know, so it was about all my brain could handle. But um, I've now moved up. I'm on an eight track digital now. And that will make it a lot better quality for, you know, because often I, even from my four tracks, I will use them as a basis for when I take the music into a bigger studio to actually finish the record. So, you know, with eight track, it'll be a lot better quality, hopefully. What sort of producers do you like, actually? Oh, there are many. I mean, obviously, Flood, I have a huge amount of respect for and the work that he's done. Um, uh, Brian Eno, I think, is a very interesting producer that I'd love to work with one day. Um, Daniel Lenoir, especially the, the work that he's done with Bob Dylan, I think, has been incredible. Uh, Mick Harvey is a great producer, you know. Um, they're all people who like put a stamp on your music. I mean, they're people who really give ideas to the music, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, any strong, unique producer does very much have their own sound. I mean, I, I know, I can hear a record on the radio and I know if Floods has produced it. I just know straight away. And I think that's a lovely feeling, you know, to hear that. In the same way, John Parrish actually is a great producer. I can hear if John's produced something with, you know, if I didn't even know beforehand. So... So why would you consider producing your own music? Being totally in control? Or? Um... I guess that's why, you know, I choose off, I, all of my own records I have produced um, in collaboration with somebody else. And I think for me that's important on my own work because it's difficult to have, to have enough distance oftentimes to really see what a song needs or doesn't need because obviously I'm so close to it that I can't step back very easily and see. I need somebody else to help me there. So, but you, you you do more and more production work yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still think for my own records, I would still choose to work with somebody else. Yeah, but but you know, but love producing for other people. Hey, you you, we have to stop, I guess. All right, five more minutes uh, before your plane leaves. 
<laughs> they, they sent our luggage to Stockholm, actually. No kidding. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've been shit. here without my bags. Where do you have to go, actually, to? Well, we're going to Stockholm now. They sent our luggage to Stockholm last night. Well, it's already there, then. Yes. <laughs> uh, you, you've been you've been in the in, in rock and roll business for a long time now. Uh, do you still like it? Do you f- fit in it? I feel I feel very lucky to be able to to lead this kind of life certainly I mean it's it's hard work it's very hard work and you know not just at the, at the level of songwriting and of the emotional intensity that that involves but obviously you know touring is is extremely draining and and tough and it's not by any means any kind of holiday it's you don't see anywhere really it's it's hard work but you know talking I'm, to the I'm press doing, but I'm doing something that uh that I, I love doing, my heart is in, I feel very dedicated towards music and writing music. And, you know, many I feel lucky to be in that position. Many people have this passion about something and still have to do another job just to to bring money and to live, you know. But to be, to be able to have this as also my career, I've, um, I've, I'm very lucky to be able to do. Do you still do other forms of art, except for poetry? Because you were a sculptor as well, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I write poetry and prose. Um, acting, I've, I've touched on. I've, I've acted in uh, one kind of major film uh, called The Book of Life for a film director called Hal Hartley. Um, that was a couple of years ago. And since then, I've done a couple of small films, mostly for BBC TV in England, um, you know, just short films. But that's something that, again, I would love to move into more although it's very difficult and it's not I'm very wary of you know just the fact that I'm a singer and known for being a songwriter and a singer that that means that I can automatically be an actress and you know write a book and all of this it's not true and it's not the case and I would only ever do something if I felt I could really give it time and work work hard at it because I don't think it's something I can just slip into and do naturally you know it's 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 very hard Looking back on your album, are you satisfied? On this album, yes. I mean, it's. I had a very clear idea of what I wanted to achieve before I went into the studio, and it, and it has done all of those things for me. Um, I wanted to make a record that was that the main focus was the vocals and the and the guitars, and that the songs were very simple and traditional in the sense of you know traditional songwriting. Um, and I think all of that has come across. I was also very interested in in making a record that was full of melody and of clarity and and um, a certain kind of elegance to the sound. Um, a lot of my records in the past have been more interested in debasing sounds and messing with sounds. And this time I wanted to get back to a very pure kind of sound, which I think it probably has done. Some might say it's a commercial album. Some might. I've long, I've long ago given up on even being able to know what a commercial album is or isn't. I've got no idea. All I do is just. Uh, do you care? Not really. No, it's not important. It's um, for me the most important thing is honestly expressing what I'm interested in, trying to express at that time. You succeeded in it. I think I did for this record. Yeah, I'm glad, and I'm. I feel that I've done that now, and it's freed me up to move on to somewhere else.